co-admin of this group together with David D'Souza, Erica and Leanne. But the heart and soul of this group is David D'Souza. His passion for going food and his dedication is second to none. Today, he and his sister Lorraine have organized this potluck. This is one of many held all over the world. The goal is clear. Have fun, enjoy, and keep our great, rich cuisine alive. Too many cooks is never a bad thing here. Members jump in to heat their dishes, and they also pitch in to help others. Outdoor stoves of all shapes and sizes have gathered here to heat things up. So why is this group we created so damn successful? David, this is an amazing event that you and your sister Lorraine put together. So how are you feeling about all of this TGF stuff? It started off as a Facebook group. We have some amazing members in our Facebook group, but now it's evolving into much more. People all over the world are having these potlucks and they're getting together. They're sharing Goan food, which is, I think, the, the goal of you know this, this group is to help everybody kind of learn how to make one food and keep our going tradition alive. So yep. what do you think about this? I mean, uh, you know, this is, this is, I don't know, our third official one. Uh, we've had, I don't know how many more unofficial ones at somebody's house in the backyard, whatever. But the community here, is, it's been amazing. I mean, you know, we met we met at the first one. We've, uh, we've grown as a smaller group within Toronto. I think we have... On a, on a whole scale, we yeah. end up we end up influencing a lot of other communities. You know, yeah. um, after we started up our stuff, Bombay had a few. Uh, you know, the US is still trying. Uh, Abu Dhabi. Recently, we've also had a couple of people in Germany who've been going long distances, Pinky and Virtual and stuff like that. Just meeting up, open your communities up, open your local areas up, and form these little groups. Meet up and spread the love for Goan food, and it's 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 an amazing thing. Yeah, really. and you know what? I, mean, I, I have to tell you, I. I've met a few people that say that have met me and said we've never cooked one food before or any food for example and they're like thank you so much for you know encouraging me to do whatever that's what we are here for we're here to share we're not here to hide the recipes we're here to share so if you need any help just ask that's all and it's, there's no shame in like you know doing something for the first time there's no shame at all just come out and do it we would really love to hear from you yeah, absolutely. I mean, so we're there, you know, send up a post, uh, comment on a post, uh, you've got questions about what people are cooking, don't be hesitant to ask for a recipe. Do say please and thank you. Uh, right, so that is... I'm that sorry, is that, that is David's, that, his pet peeve. It's a pet peeve. Please pet say peeve. please and thank you. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's amazing. But, you know, I mean, look behind us. This is the group, everybody's here, and... Some of these people, some of them we've known. Like, I mean, you know, we've met up at previous potlucks or whatever, but over half of this crowd has no clue who the All other is. All our buggers, man. All our buggers. Yeah, and they're amazing. I mean, you know, everybody just gets together. Okay, we want to introduce so you to Lorraine. Lorraine. This Hi. is Hi. David's sister. Yeah, she's so a, she's she does all, all of the organization. So if you want to have a potluck in your area, no, thank yes, you. Yes, yes. No. Ask her. Yeah, no, she'll help, help you. She'll help yeah. you. So we've got, again, we've got all the notes put together. We've got all the templates that we use to uh, to send out to people what to do, how to do, how to track stuff. She can definitely provide you with that stuff. We can send you like what Brother, we send sister. out. What we send out to our crowds over here, we can definitely forward that to you. And each time we've done this, it's kind of gotten a little bit more involved. It's gotten a little bit more coordinated. When something has failed in one of the potlucks that we've done before, we kind of adapt those changes. But yeah, I mean, you know, in like... Like how, lessons how we, learned. Lessons we have like learned. a lessons learned. Lessons yeah. learned. And then we make those changes. You know, we make those changes and make it better. So I think we've got a handle on it. Like, you know, today we've had over 60 some odd people over here. Amazing array of food. Uh, you'll see all of that stuff. Karen's done a great job in capturing it. We've got, yeah, we've got, we've got a thread going on TGF. So guys, get out there, meet up in your small cook, local community. Cook, damn it, cook. Yeah. Cook, go on food. Yeah. Everybody enjoys it. And have fun. With all this amazing good food, how can one not have fun? did I bring to the party you asked? I packed up a batch of this delicious chicken caprial. 
Marinated for a day in a wonderful spice blend of whole spices, vinegar, green chilies, ginger and garlic, coriander, turmeric and tamarind. This chicken was then seared and smoked on my hot outdoor skillet together with some potato wedges. All the dishes are revealed and it's time to eat. There's so much variety here. Chutney sandwiches, shira, chicken shakuti, green beef bakpado, shrimp palau, chicken shakuti, chorizo palau, beef kima with beef and potatoes, beef roast, goan pork roast, chicken bakpad, meat pork curry, chicken liver, chicken kafriyal, white rice, prawn samar chikori, pork vindalus, goa sausages, chili fry, palau, prawn and tendi coconut curry, beef and pork stew, sarpatel, pork salantalam, beef chili fry, fish cutlet, chicken patties, pork bafat, green beef curry, and potato bhaji. And that's only some of the dishes. We haven't even got to the desserts yet. Between lunch and dessert, we played a game, and I'm pretty sure we weren't supposed to be walking in such a slow and sosegad route. After the game, it's time for dessert. A traditional vaan made from milk, lentils, and jaggery or unrefined sugar is served to an eager crowd. Shira and other Goan delicacies were also served. We toast to a great day, but it's not over yet. Members are ready to eat again. This time, some crispy bhojes that are made with onion and potato are being prepared. This goes well with the tea Paul Lorraine has slaved over. Thanks so much for watching behind the scenes of the traditional Goan foodies picnic. Click on the thumbnail for my Kafriyal video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. I upload tons of videos every week. Also ring the bell, that's YouTube's new bell icon that will notify you every time I upload a new video.